So hands up if you're looking how to de-squeeze your anamorphic footage in Premiere Pro. Sound about right? All right, let's go. So welcome back everybody. My name's Steven of Steven and Janica, and I hope you're all having a fantastic week. And we're gonna start off a new series to kick off the new year. And this new series is gonna be called Hashtag Tuesday Tips. This series is gonna focus on quick and easy solutions for your videography workflow and process within Premiere Pro. And to start the series and to kick it off, we're talking about how to de-squeeze that anamorphic footage within Premiere Pro. I am obsessed with anamorphic lenses and I want to make sure that I give the best presentation and the best and most effective way of setting up that footage in my sequence. So let's hop into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how it's done. So here is the first and probably the fastest way of properly de-squeezing that anamorphic footage. So as you can see here, we have our timeline and we have our project folder bin in Premiere Pro 2021. And this footage here is all straight from the camera taken with my Lumix G9 using the Saruhi 35 millimeter lens. So let's grab a clip here. We're gonna grab one right off the top and we're gonna grab this one and we're gonna drag it onto our timeline. And as you can tell, that footage is definitely needing de-squeezing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna de-squeeze that footage. As you can tell, it's been pushed together based on that anamorphic crop. So let's just delete this off the uh, timeline here for a second. And we're gonna go back up to that file and we're gonna right click on that file and we're going to go to interpret footage under modify. From there, we're gonna change the use pixel aspect ratio default setting to conform to. So we're gonna conform this down to HD anamorphic 1080 1.33. So we're, we're matching the 1.33 times that comes on that anamorphic Saruhi 35 millimeter lens. I'm gonna select that, gonna press okay. We're gonna go back and as you can see now on this uh, project folder, there's now anamorphic bars top and bottom. So we're gonna drop this onto the sequence. It's gonna say once again that we are gonna change the sequence settings. We're gonna say no because we just dropped it on from before. Keep existing settings. And as you can tell, bada bing, bada boom, we now have anamorphic footage that showcases the top and bottom crop bars. So option number two on how to de-squeeze that footage. Let's go. So here we are in Premiere Pro again. We have our project files on the left, empty sequence here, of course, and we are ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna drag on one of these files here of Angie and Molly at the beaches here in Toronto. We're gonna drag that onto our sequence. And as you can tell, it is definitely squeezed together. So the trick here to de-squeeze this time is to use a bit of math as we basically readjust the sequence size based on the 4K resolution of the video. Might sound a bit confusing, but in reality, it's quite simple. So we're gonna bring up our handy dandy calculator right here, and we're gonna go up top to the sequence settings and hit sequence settings. And as you can tell, when you shoot in 4K, the frame size is gonna be default 3840 by 2160. And we're going to now take the calculator and we're gonna take the width of this particular sequence and we're gonna multiply this by 1.33. So that essentially is the 1.33 times on the Saruhi anamorphic 35 millimeter lens. We're gonna hit enter here and we get a number of 5107. So now we can go back into our sequence settings and we can adjust this frame size to be 5107. So enter in 5107. We're gonna hit okay. It's gonna be a little warning here saying changes to deletion, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna say okay, that's all good. And as you can tell now the, the the box sizing here of this particular viewing area, as you can tell, is in more of an anamorphic layout. So it definitely takes into consideration that 1.33 times. Now we're not fully done yet. Now we have to de-squeeze our footage. So we're gonna go over here to uh, the effect controls and we're gonna go down to scale and we're gonna go over to scale width. So right now, currently it says uniform scale on the file, but we're just gonna take that off and we're gonna be able to adjust this directly within the effect controls. Now, it's not the most elegant way of doing this, but it definitely gets the job done. So I can drag this to the left and I can drag it to the right and we can basically just stretch out the footage. So now we also have a way of squeezing out that anamorphic result. Now, if we go back to how it was originally and we go back to 100, oops, and 100, boom, boom. Boom. We can also, I believe, interpret the footage within the files here. So let's go over and click this. We're gonna go uh, interpret footage. 
Different footage here. We're gonna go over to conform to uh, anamorphic 1.33. Now this should also give us the viewing ratio as corrected by the sequence. And there we go as well. So now we have a corrected de-squeezed anamorphic result. And you can tell here now that it's properly squeezed out. It doesn't have the anamorphic bars this time, but it does show the anamorphic in a de-squeezed format and properly read out as for how it was shot on my Lumix G9. So there you have it. That's our very first hashtag Tuesday tips tutorial. And I, I hope it was helpful in figuring out how to properly de-squeeze that anamorphic footage. Speaking of anamorphic, definitely check out the Saruhi lens series. I'm going to link above the last vlog I did reviewing the 35 millimeter lens. Definitely worth looking at if you're thinking about shooting with anamorphic lenses. And as always, hit the like, subscribe button below and stay up to date on all the videos we have coming up. And check out the next Tuesday tips as we share ideas quickly on how you can get those results in Premiere Pro. See you later. Thank you.